So with regard to that uh, loosening effect, I haven't yet played with Loctite. Uh, I've called them up and asked them about the interaction with it and uh, various solvents and they say they have a complete chart of different chemicals they've tested their Loctite pr product against um, but I'm frankly not entirely sure precisely what solvents are in the A123's or Kokums or any other particular uh, pouch cell. So um, I'm a little bit uh, leery about that. However, uh, the idea of being able to have the threads locking the fastener to where it cannot twist whatsoever is appealing because um, I went ahead and tried out Jack's wonderful uh, Nordlock discovery and on the M4 size uh, bolt that I have here, uh, the head just isn't enough for the uh, Nordlock to do much good. I'm very easily able to loosen it and it just spins against the Nordlock. So, um, Nordlocks are not a cure for me, unfortunately. Um, the idea of putting a uh, hole through the heads of these and then running a wire to lock them into place has crossed my mind, but I'm just thinking about expense and uh, the amount of effort uh, I would personally would want to be uh, putting forward to drill tiny holes through every single screw head in the pack. Um, going through the hardened metal, I'm just not, uh, not liking that notion at all. But... Uh, Pull these out here. Because one of the things to consider is not just the final product, but the process of doing the entire assembly of the final product. Because that's absolutely crucial. Uh, you don't want to uh, make a design that can only go together and not come apart. Uh, there's been some talk about the uh, Concept 1 battery module that uh, uses the, uh, what appears to be the A123 pouch cells, might be other uh, pouch cells, but uh, he uses a similar concept of uh, these blocks uh, in, in between each of the tabs and then individual bolts holding them together. Um, you will note that uh, in that general concept where you have the individual bolts that way, uh, if you need to get to one in the middle of the pack, you have to disassemble half of the pack in order to get to that one. So imagine that one of those bolts comes loose from vibration. You can't check it. You want to even know. Um, so long term, that idea of uh, hiding your fasteners is a uh, disaster just waiting to manifest itself. But I wanted to show you, you know, the process conceptually of putting all this together. And I'm going to try to do this one handed since my tripod is my left hand right now, um, as you can tell from the shaky video. So um, you'd have your uh, pouch tabs sticking up, and then you drop these through here. Now the ends only have the shoulders holding it in place, however, the ramps have uh, both the shoulder and that bottom catch that will lift up on the steel band and the wedge has no catches on it at all. It's uh, able to slide up and down without any uh, anything getting in its way. So then you'd have your tabs sticking up over here from one set of cells and your tabs sticking up over here. So um, you got your tab, block, tab, block, tab, block, and so on. Uh, and then doing the same thing over here. Uh, Presto changeo. You've got them all stashed away. And one of the key elements to it is that the, uh, the band would be pre-sized and um, all these would be rather snug. Um, now if you lift up a little bit to where that wedge drops out, mind you all this is sitting right above all the cells, you have some give and freedom of play. 
So then that's sitting there. You drop your lex in over to stabilize that once it's completed. Drop your screws in. And initially they're obviously quite loose. And in the pack, um, the Lexan would be connected at this point. You get that just kind of in place. And then over on the sides of the pack, you'd have uh, a rail that the Lexan would be fastened to. So the Lexan is solidly positioned, sitting above all of your cells. So as you tighten these, it's going to be lifting um, these ramps. Or, I'm sorry, yeah, lifting the ramps with these catch tabs um, and the band, and then the band would be lifting all of these shoulders up on all of the uh, individual um, blocks. So at this point, you would just uh, you know, alternate back and forth between the screws to get them to similar tension, not unlike when you're tightening the bolts on your wheels on your car. And then you know get it to uh, a solid tension. Precisely what that tension would be, I'm not entirely sure yet. Um, I feel quite confident with the amount of pressure that can be applied with just a simple Allen wrench. And you know, in this whole process, as you're building your entire pack, uh, you're covering up all of your cells. So now, if a wrench were to land on here uh, and arc across something, you're going to mess up your heads of your uh, uh, of these bolts but that can be manageable you can just take an angle grinder to that cut that head off and then remove the tab uh, or remove the lexan and disassemble it and replace the bolt you're not going to destroy your tabs um, but in general uh, you're still going to provide some protection against muck ups um, I've, I've been trying to get it to where these would be recessed into a hole so you know you know nothing would be able to touch it. Uh, we could easily put another piece of Lexan over it to, to cover them, obviously. But uh, you can see, um, just tensions up there, uh, lifts that wedge right up, and applies the pressure. So that is my concept in a nutshell. Um, I uh, share this for the general benefit of everyone. I understand that not everyone wanting to assemble a pack. Uh, is going to want to actually go to the effort of manufacturing all these individual pieces. So um, I feel that sharing the, spilling the beans and sharing the information isn't going to be uh, a shot in the foot. And besides, Jack is already trying out all the designs and ideas that everyone's sharing. So uh, we'll see if he can uh, execute this uh, more cleanly than what I've been able to. Um, and just maybe uh, this design would win the contest. So um, this is Nabil from Des Moines, Iowa, signing out.